Say good afternoon. Welcome everybody here to the house of Jacob. Somebody should have reminded the people that it is the Sabbath day. Amen. And the Lord still require a holy convocation. It doesn't matter if you kept a feast yesterday. He still require a holy convocation on this That's Sabbath right. day. Ain't got nothing to do with it. You know what I'm saying? Well, I feasted out so over here. I feasted out too, but you see me standing here, right? Why? Because right. the Lord commanded that you have a holy convocation on this Sabbath day. So regardless of whatever else you have done so far uh, for the past week or the past few days, you still are supposed to show up for the Sabbath day. But nevertheless, the Lord said, wherever there be two or more gathered in his name, there he is in the midst of it. Amen. So the Lord is here even though it's only a handful of us here today. Now, uh, Brother Steve gave you the title of the lesson. And again, the title is, The Lord Will Deliver His Church As in the Days of Old. You know, I always say God is very predictable. You know, uh, Lord lets you know exactly what He's going to do. And sometimes if you don't understand clearly what the Lord is going to do in the future, you just look in the past. Because the Lord does pretty much everything the same way. You understand what I'm saying? And that is what I am going to show you in this lesson. Lord going to do things almost exactly as he did them in the past. We're going to start this lesson out in Acts chapter 7. We're going to begin reading at verse 31. Acts 7 and we will pick it up at verse 31. 7 and 31. Because it's stay in line with the uh, title of the lesson, the Lord will deliver his church as <coughs> in the days of old. I feel the first thing we need to do is show you uh, who the church is because uh, most people do not understand who the church is or when it got started for that matter. Most, if they even try to put a time on when the church got started, they will take you to Acts chapter 2 uh, when the, um, uh, all Israel was gathered there to keep Pentecost and the Lord sent his Holy Spirit upon the people. And they think that was when the church got started, but that is not when the church got started. The church has started long before that. So now we're going to begin by showing you who the church is and when it got started. Let's go to Acts chapter 7. We'll begin reading at verse 31. Am I on? I don't sound to me like I'm on. I guess I am. Okay, well, it's good. If you hear me, it's all good. Uh, 7 and uh, verse 31. 7 and 31. Okay, go ahead and read, brother. When Moses saw it, he wondered at the sight. Mm -hmm. And as he drew near to behold it, the voice of the Lord came unto him. Now, uh, this is Stephen here, and he's telling, he's re reminding the people of, uh, uh, really, he took them all the way back to Abraham and brought them all the way down through the wilderness and all of that. But he took them all the way back to Abraham. Now he's come down to the time when the Lord uh, had Israel there in the wilderness, and he was uh, dealing with Moses. And Moses was the one that he had uh, chosen to lead the people. Start, uh, continue reading. What verse are we? 32. Go ahead and read it. Saying, I am the God of thy fathers, the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Then Moses trembled, and durst not behold. Then said the Lord to him, Put off thy shoes from thy feet, for the place where thou standest is holy ground. Uh -huh. I have seen, I have seen the affliction of my people which is in Egypt, and I have heard their groaning. And I am come down to deliver them. And now come, I will send thee into Egypt. Now, this is the Lord telling Moses. He said, I have heard the groaning of the children of Israel. And I have come down to deliver them. And now he's about to commission to, uh, Moses to go and do that. Continue reading though. This Moses whom they refused, uh -huh. saying, Who made thee a ruler and a judge? The same did God send to be a ruler and a deliverer by the hand of the angel which appeared to him in the bush. Go ahead. He brought them out after that he had shown wonders and signs in the land of Egypt and in the Red Sea and in the wilderness 40 years. This is that Moses was said unto the children of Israel, A prophet shall your Lord God raise up unto, up unto you of your brethren, like unto me. Him shall you hear. Now this is that Moses that said to the children of Israel, A prophet uh, your Lord going to raise up unto you, like unto me him you shall hear. And look at what else he said here. Go ahead and read. This is he. That was in the church in the wilderness. Now this is that he said it to the children of Israel, right? So now he said, "This is he that was with the church in the wilderness." And who was the church that was in the wilderness? That was the Israel. That is when the church got started, when the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt and brought them there into the wilderness. Go ahead and read on. 
with the angel which spake to him uh -huh. in Mount Sinai, uh -huh. and with our fathers, who received the lively oracles to give unto us. So now, uh, we understand who the church is. We understand when the church got started. Church is Israel. It got started in the wilderness. Let's go now to uh, Exodus chapter 3, and we'll begin reading at verse 7. And I'm going to show you what the Lord did when he was about to deliver the church out of Egypt. Let's go now to uh, uh, Exodus chapter 3. And we're going to begin reading that verse 7. Just show you some of the things that the Lord did when he was about to uh, bring the church out of Egypt, out of bondage. Deliver them, in other words. Start reading at Exodus 3. And I want you to begin reading at verse 7, Exodus 3 and 7. Go ahead and read, brother. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt, uh -huh. and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. And now, I this, is, this is what Stephen uh, was quoting here that we read over in Acts. So now he said, you know, I, I've, I've seen what's going on with uh, Israel, how they have been afflicted, and uh, about the reason of their taskmasters. Go ahead and read on. And I have come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians. Uh -huh. Now, this is the Lord saying, I have come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians. Go ahead and read on. And to bring them up out of the land unto a good land, uh -huh. and a large, unto a land flowing with milk and honey, unto the place of the Canaanites, and the Hittites, and the Amorites, and the Perizzites, and the Hittites, and the Jebusites. So now, you know, this is the Lord, he's delivering the church, because we read earlier who the church is. The church is Israel, and this is the Lord that is delivering the church here. Go ahead and read some more. Now therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me, uh -huh. and have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptian oppressed them. Go ahead. Come now therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. Uh -huh. And Moses said unto God, who am I that I should go unto Pharaoh, and that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt? And he said, Certainly I will be with thee, and this should be a token unto thee, that I have sent thee. When thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt, you shall serve God upon this mountain. Go ahead. And Moses said unto God, mm -hmm. Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and shall say unto them, The God of your fathers has sent me unto you. And they shall say to me, What is his name? And what shall I say unto them? And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am have sent me unto you. Now let's go over to uh, John chapter 8, just so we can understand who this is. That is delivering the church out of Egypt. Let's go to uh, John 8, and we'll pick it up at verse 53, 8 and 53. Because he, God said, you know, when they ask, What is his name? You tell them, I am. That I am. That is his name. Let's go now to uh, John chapter 8. And we'll begin reading at verse 53. John 8, we're going to pick it up at verse 53. Just show you who this is. 8 and 53. John 8, <laughs> verse 53. 8 and 53. Okay, go ahead and read. Are thou greater than our father Abraham, which is dead? Uh huh. And the prophets are dead? Who makest thou of thyself? Now they talking to Jesus. And this is Jews, and they talking to Jesus. And they asked him, say, are you greater, you know, uh, than our father Abraham or the prophets that are dead? Go ahead and read on. Jesus answered, uh -huh. if I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my father that honoreth me, of whom you say that he is your God. Go ahead. Yet you have not known him, but I know him. And if he should say, I know him not, I should be a liar like unto you. But I know him and keep his saying. Go ahead. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. That was some 3,000 years after Abraham. Yes, sir. And Jesus is saying, you know, your father Abraham, he rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and he was glad. Look at what the Jews said. Man, you ain't 50 years old. What are you talking about? Go ahead and read on. Verse 57. Uh-huh. Then said the Jews unto him. Go ahead. Thou art not yet 50 years old. Uh -huh. And how hast thou seen Abraham? They asking him, you're you not even 50 years old, and you're going to tell us about Abraham?